Morning, this is Arnie Waters. Uh, gold is trading down about 15.59, down about 25 bucks on the opening. Uh, we're not surprised about this. We told you 15.50 was likely about 10 days ago. Uh, the support is really around 15.28, and that might well be breached in the coming days. Uh, as you know, there may be another Greek election. The Spanish yields are trending up above 6%, uh, and the uh, North Nord Rylan Westphalia rebuked the policies of austerity. You have to take a moment and think about the German situation. I mean, their economy is doing very well and continues to do very well. And they're being forced because of the Euro situation and the Greek and the Italian and the Spanish situation to, to have uh, increased taxes and budget difficulties. And the cause of this is external and people don't like it. And I don't think they're going to start liking it anytime soon. That's why the U.S. economy looks better and better by contrast. When you add to this the fact that the Chinese situation, the Chinese are being forced to let out some kind of version of how awful their economy is, um, that, that you know you see why the, the gold price is down. And again, it's going to be very difficult to make money in gold in the next little while. That's why we encourage you to visit us on the issue of uh, rare coins as a way and numismatic rarities as a way to profit during these difficult times. Now, <clears throat> the Chinese situation, of course, with uh, the, the uh, removal of Bo points out a couple of things. One is that there is no rule of law in China. Um, it's, and, it, what, and this lack of formal institutions means that People and companies that are investing so heavily in China really need to be aware that there are some dangers here. If you ask the people who are investing in Brazil, the people who are investing in Venezuela and the gold mines, people who are invested in South Africa and so terrified about their mines being expropriated, um, at some point, in order to save their uh, rear ends, the Chinese top guys may decide that they need to nationalize again some companies that were previously nationalized and are now private. This is not all that different than what the Russians did uh, in the case of Yukos Oil and other similar expropriations after people fell into political difficulties. Now, to shift the ground a little bit, I want to go back to this mythical rogue trader. Rogue trader. There's always a rogue trader. Nobody ever knows what's going on. How can this be? The fact of the matter is that top-level people in these banking institutions know exactly what's going on. And you can't tell me that something that's losing $200 million a day doesn't get anyone's attention. And if it doesn't, if it really doesn't, then one can only wonder about what's really going on. So look away from gold and silver and look to numismatics as a way of profiting over the next while. And in the meantime, what day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Thanks.